availability of JR? Or? No. Is it a possibility of him playing tonight? Or? Uh, we'll see how it goes this morning. And shoot around there. We'll, we'll know more after after that. And Amari is just not going to do the back to back. No, I don't know if Amari is going to be able to play tonight or tomorrow. We'll, you know, we'll see how his knee responds. Uh, you know, the travel, um, you know, always impacts inflammation of any kind. And so, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes today and tomorrow. But uh, you know, we still we want to be smart and you know and do what's best for him and not just the team. Were you expecting the league to come down on uh, Quincy? No, nah, I didn't really try to decipher whether they were or weren't, you know. They make decisions and, you know, that's what the decisions are. So, you know, we look forward to having Quincy back tomorrow. What's sort of been the challenge? <clears throat> and, and, you know, injuries are part of the NBA, but just now the suspension with AC and uh, just the injuries and Amari. I mean, how, how for you as a first-year coach, what different things have you seen that, oh, wow, I didn't realize how to figure this out? Well, no, I mean, I think it's just, you know, we've been talking about teamwork and cohesion and trust and working together and sacrificing, you know, yourself for the team. And, you know, we haven't been a whole team for very long uh, this season. Mm -hmm. And so it's been difficult to, you know, continue with our messaging in terms of what's best for the larger team. Uh, but I think our guys, you know, their mindset's still in the right place. They're still coming to work with the right attitude every day. And, uh, you know, hopefully as we get bodies back, um, you know, we can string some success together instead of, uh, you know, just kind of hoping for a night here or there in the dark. You emphasize defense quite a bit in the training camp. As you get into the season now, are you seeing that with a lot of missing persons that it's difficult to put a good defensive unit out there 48 minutes? Well, I think we you know, kind of tried to identify throughout the preseason and the early part of the regular season, you know, which individuals and, and which groups collectively would be able to give us the best balance on both ends of the floor. Uh, and, you know, that's been tough, obviously, with guys out. But uh, overall, we still have, you know, established a decent foundation of keeping teams out of the paint in terms of their scoring. And, uh, you know, playing the, the style of game that keeps teams out of transition a lot. Uh, but, you know, having some of our dynamic perimeter players out are definitely going to impact our ability to close back out to the three-point line and, and, and keep guys out of the paint with penetration. So. You know, our principles are okay. We just have to continue to work at them and get better in doing them out on the floor. This team likes to play a track meet style. Last night, they, they got into it. Phoenix, how do you prevent them from doing that against you? Well, the, you know, you, some of the things we just talked about, it, it, it starts with being able to get your defense back in set. And, and so they can't score in transition as often as they would like to, uh, which starts with running good offense and taking good shots on your end. And then, you know, from there, it's, you know, some individual and collective pride in defending your man and uh, defending them as a team. Uh, you know, as long as we win, it's not uh, as much about, you know, how they like to play, uh, but, you know, making sure that we enforce our will on, onto them instead of allowing them to do that to us. What does your starting front court look like for that AC and Stadman? Uh We'll talk about it this morning. You know, uh, you guys knew before I did whether or not Amari was definitely going to be in or not. We talked about it a little bit on the bus. Right. Um, and so we'll see how it goes this morning. Uh, you know, they, they play a small lineup a lot. So, you know, we have nine guys. So we just, you know, we'll figure it out as we go here this morning. I mean, did you figure AC was going to get at least a game? I mean, we were satisfied. No, I didn't, just... I didn't assume one way or the other. You know, like I said, the league makes decisions about, uh, you know, discipline and on court type activities. and. You know, you can't really lose too much time, you know, focusing on that. You have to accept it for what it is and uh, move forward. You know, Quincy feels bad he's not able to help his team out tonight, but we'll have him back tomorrow. Is there any type of update on Andrea? I mean, obviously, he's still doing his pregame work and stuff like that. Uh, I talked to you before I talked to Andrea. So, um, you know, once we're done here, then I'll get a chance to go talk to Andrea. Are you, are you tired of talking about it? Injuries and injuries, and I mean, it, it seems like that's no. It's just strange, you know. Uh, basketball coach talking about medical things is strange, but I'm getting used to it. How could how could he help you when and if he gets back in the lineup? Um, well, I think Andre has a unique set of skills that uh, you know made him the number one pick in the draft not long mm -hmm. ago. 
versatility, uh, his ability to play different positions, guard different positions. Uh, you know, a lot of positive things about what he can do for us. Uh, but, you know, we can't you know, dream about it. We Hopefully it'll be a reality soon. Is there any possibility of him tr playing by the end of this trip? To come to the draw for um, you know, we'll, we have to more so see it. We can't determine it, you know, in advance. Uh, I think his workouts are progressing. And, and so as long as, you know, we're getting good feedback there, uh, you know, hopefully it's getting closer. But, you know, we can't speak on that too early. We just have to wait and see. Have you ever played on a team where you get so many teammates out at once, and like one day another one drops? Where you can get in their mindset, kind of know what they're going through? No, not that I can recall, but you know, it's uh, it's unfortunate, you know, uh, you know, to you know, I think be on, on a team where you have so many guys that are in and out, and you know, you're trying to to do something positive, but uh, seems like things just keep getting thrown at you. But like I said, most nights guys are still going out there and you know and, and competed, and you know, we've had a chance to win a lot of games that we haven't. But uh, you know, whether we have nine or 14 or 15, uh, you know, we still have to show up with the right mindset tonight and, and see if we can win a game in Sacramento. All right, guys.